Hello? Almost 80 years ago, during World War II, the United States dropped two atomic bombs on Japan, resulting in over 200,000 fatalities. With such a grave and serious tragedy, the Japanese people should have held a strong enmity towards the US, or at least towards the US government. However, the opposite occurred, and the Japanese people hold Americans in high regard, and the two countries have become an allies. So, what happened? Why don't they hate each other? Let's find out in this video. Every year, the Japanese cabinet office conducts surveys, and the results show that up to 87% of Japanese people feel close to the United States, and the resentment caused by the US dropping two atomic bombs on Japan is almost non-existent in Japanese society. So what's the reason for Japan to feel so friendly and close to the US instead of holding grudges? Perhaps the first reason we need to mention is Japan's pre-World War II regime, which left the people very disillusioned. Specifically, in 1926, Emperor Hirohito ascended to the throne and ruled over Japan. Under his leadership, the country fell into chaos, the economy suffered a severe crisis, and unemployment rates skyrocketed, leading to conflicts between workers and the government. Many bloody clashes with the police broke out. Emperor Hirohito believed that the way to save the country at that time was to expand its colonies to exploit mineral resources. Therefore, a large amount of resources were allocated to the military, war costs, and the economy became weaker and weaker. The people became increasingly impoverished and miserable. As a result, trust in Emperor Hirohito's rule diminished. So, what does this have to do with the US? Why did it help the US become more favorable in the eyes of the Japanese people? We have to look at the second reason. It is the process of Japan being under the control of the US. After World War II, the Japanese people thought that when the US took over militarily, Japan would fall into American colonialism and become a completely occupied territory. They believed that Americans would do bad, mean, and brutal things, and massacre the Japanese people, just like what Japan did to China. Even the Japanese military distributed poison pills to civilians in case they were harmed by the US troops so that they could drink and free them. Japan was sure that the new leaders of the United States would be so brutal, to the extent the government organized brothels under state protection, to entertain American troops and protect innocent women. However, they were surprised to find out that the Americans didn't turn out to be the way they had imagined. In fact, the Americans declared brothels is illegal and forced labor there undemocratic and immoral. During the seven-year occupation of Japan by the US, America supported Japan in drafting a new constitution to rebuild the country. Gradually, both the Japanese and the Americans realized that they liked each other more. This unexpected action by the Americans surprised the Japanese and reduced their animosity. Moreover, the US helped Japan revive its economy to the point where it became wealthier than pre-war times and the world's second-largest economy. Specifically, from 1945, the US provided an average of $178 million in aid to Japan. The US also promoted the New Deal economic policies to enhance the rights of workers and communities, eliminate the monopoly of capitalists, and reform the education system. Additionally, the US supported Japan's technological development, helping the country become a giant manufacturing nation. In the 1960s, Japan became over 25% wealthier than before the war. The income of the people doubled every 10 years, while Japanese farms were densely cultivated and achieved the world's highest productivity. Almost every family in Japan owned a radio, and for every four radios, there was one TV. Many newspapers were sold per capita compared to the US. Japanese people have the best conditions to eat, dress, and live in Asia. Japan also did not spend much on military expenses, allowing them more resources to invest in the economy and become wealthier. It can be said that Japan became unexpectedly rich thanks to the help of the US. Therefore, the Japanese no longer feel antipathy towards the Americans. Even the opposite, when Japan developed too rapidly around the 1980s, the US economy suffered a crisis and increased unemployment. Americans blamed the government for being too priority on Japan. Subsequently, the US forced Japan to increase the value of the yen to hinder Japan's export competition to the US. In addition, Japan gradually shifted its factories to the US to manufacture, create job opportunities for Americans. Thanks to this, the relationship between Japan and the US stabilized. The third reason is that Japan and the US found a common enemy, which is the threat and expansion of communism, something that Japan absolutely hates. Although Japan was just beginning to shift from a totalitarian regime to a constitutional monarchy at that time. The US and Japan signed a peace treaty, under which the US would provide security and military support to Japan, in exchange for the US gaining an important position in the Asia-Pacific region. 
Japan is very pleased to have found a powerful ally that can prevent China's domination in the region. In summary, there are three reasons why the Japanese no longer resent the Americans after World War II. First, before the war, Japan was poor, miserable, and unstable. Second, after the war, the US treated Japan well and helped Japan develop into the world's second largest economy. Third, Japan and the US have a common enemy and have signed a mutual support treaty. That is why, to this day, the Japanese no longer hate the US. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your comments and subscribe now to never miss a video and let's learn together. See you again.